We we'll bless your name, Jesus. We we'll bless your name, Jesus. Let us adore Our Father, we thank you and we bless you. Faithful God, we adore you. Faithful God, we adore you. Faithful God, we bless you. We ask that you take all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. You deserve it all. We adore your sweet holy name today, and we bless you. Holy Spirit, we ask that you flow in the midst of your people today. We ask for a fresh baptism in your presence. As we pray, we thank you in advance because our petition is good with you. And we know that you will grant every petition that we desire of you today. And as we partake of your table today, let the blood of the everlasting covenant speak into every situation. In the precious name of Jesus. Somebody say, believe in amen. amen. Put your hands together, celebrate Jesus, and you may have your seat. Hallelujah. If you're watching online, I want to welcome you especially to tonight's prayer gathering. And for all our folks at the mainland, at the mainland church, I also want to welcome you very specially. I'm sure mainland is joining us right now. Um, let's, let's appreciate all the people at the mainland. <laughs> Okay, um, if you've been part of the, of the prayer, fasting, it's the third day, and today, if you have the prayer schedule, you know, we've been praying about, about relationships, about family, about, uh, um, you know, our family generally, our future uh, relationally, uh, marital destiny, uh, God bringing us to seasons of divine connection and all that, and I just want to speak a bit to that, uh, we'll pray, and then we'll partake of the communion table. One expectation that I wanted to have tonight as we partake of um, the communion is to understand that the Bible says that the blood of Jesus is a blood of reconciliation. Yeah. That blood was the propitiation for our sin, the payment. It was what you know, brought us back to God and cemented us with him. So if there are relationships around your life that are falling apart, things that are supposed to be in place that are not in place, or whatever the enemy may have taken advantage of relationally, the same way the blood brings us back into peace with God. As you partake of that table tonight, I want you to trust God that every relationship that is for destiny, every relationship that is for the fulfillment of destiny, this is not just um, chance stuff, but relationships that God has ordained that the enemy may be messing around with, that by the blood of the everlasting covenant tonight, there shall be reconciliation. Amen. I cannot hear your amen. amen. There shall be reconnection. Amen. The same way the blood has brought peace between us and God, that through uh, the blood of Jesus tonight, there shall be peace in homes. Peace in families, Amen. in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. So before we get into uh, the communion table tonight, I just want to share two thoughts and then we're going to pray. One is from Acts 16, I think from verse 16, if you can put it up for me, I will appreciate it. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16 and, uh, and verse 16. There we read a story about the effect of controlling powers and controlling spirits. And as we pray tonight, it's one of the things we're going to pray against. In Acts 16 and verse 16, the Bible says, Now it happened, as we went to prayer, that a certain slave girl, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us, who brought our masters much profit by fortune telling. Verse 17, This girl followed Paul and us and cried out, saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. 
verse 18 and as she did and this she did for many days now after many days she started to get on the nerves of the apostles because you can imagine somebody just following you around everywhere he sees you you know says the same thing but paul greatly annoyed <laughs> you know i told you he was getting on the nerves of the apostles paul greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit paul recognized that uh, this is not just this girl There's, there was something there was uh, and turned to the spirit i command you in the name of jesus christ to come out of her and he came out of her that very very hour but when our masters saw that their hope of profit was gone somebody say gone, gone. Yeah. so they saw that they, their hope of profit was gone they seized paul and silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities and then when, if you continue reading you see that uh, they dealt with the uh, with the apostles them uh, throw them into jail you know and all that but this that's i mean that's a story for another day but the, where i'm going today is that when you look at the life of that girl she was possessed but some people were profiting from that situation so they would rather the status quo remains in her life than for her to be delivered i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying yeah they would rather that she the devil will continue to torment that girl than for her to be delivered initially the apostles were i'm sure they would be wondering ah who is this girl Did she knew us from somewhere but when she continued they realized that there's a strange spirit in manifestation and they decided to set her free the people that set her free the people profiting from her situation turned to the people that set her free and then threw them into jail i hope somebody's following me tonight yeah there are certain you know situations that we find ourselves in life some people profit from such situations whether emotionally physically financially or otherwise yeah and they will do anything to aid you remaining in that situation rather than anything that will some people tell you and i'm not trying to be funny but some people tell you they're praying for you they're not praying for you <laughs> they prefer that you and your spouse are not seen eye to eye because that's the only way they can gain certain things from there i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying i can go on and on but time will not permit me tonight i want us to pray you know certain situations you know things and maybe sometimes has occurred to you maybe somebody is profiting from this this situation maybe this person has even told me uh, i'm praying for you after you have left <laughs> because if, if things if things will not continue like that they will not be able to profit from it in life there are controlling powers in life there are people with controlling thoughts just their thinking you know when like 20 people are thinking the same thing about you the possibility is that if you are not standing well well in the spirit those thoughts may prevail over your destiny yeah you see as we are now as a church some people they don't have to pray they just need to gather themselves together wondering what is going on here and begin to think and imagine certain things that's why the bible says why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things <laughs> and they gather themselves together because it starts from people enjoying seeing you in a particular way yeah and you know in their mind they've created a frame around you those are thoughts that the bible says do we wrestle not against flesh and blood but we wrestle you know against principalities and powers and all that and uh, because not because sometimes they are uh, they are against you as an individual but there's a prevailing thought there's a prevailing mindset is the same thing that is happening to the church in nigeria right now thoughts are now becoming real issues you know, last night I was leading us to pray for Nigeria, perhaps. We're still going to do that tonight. I mean, pray for the church in Nigeria. Because certain imaginations in the heart of men are now becoming, the devil is turning, you know, the way this old world works is that things move from intangible to tangible. Nothing has been created that has not been premeditated. Yeah. It, whether good or evil. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. 
yeah, everything, whether good or evil, has to, first of all, exist in the realm of the intangible, in the realm of thought, before they become reality. Yeah. So as we pray tonight, I need you to understand it. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God. Casting down imagination. Thoughts. Yeah, thoughts. And every high thing that exalts itself over and above the knowledge of God. So whatever is contrary to God's will for your life that is still existing in the realm of thoughts, it doesn't have to be in your mind. It just has to be in the mind of a few people. <laughs> and after a while, they put voice to it. And that's how things grow in this world. Is somebody still with me tonight? Yeah. So that's why we need to be careful about who we surround ourselves with. Yeah. Because if many people around you are thinking the same things about you, it's the same way. If many people around you are praying for you, <laughs> over a period of time, you see certain manifestations. Sometimes people don't have to pray or talk. They just need to think. Yeah. That's why, uh, um, again and again, uh, the moment you feel uncomfortable, Certain people around you, maybe what they're saying or what they're thinking, you need to confront it. Yeah. Because the Bible says we should, we, should, we should deal with thoughts. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying tonight. I hope somebody's getting what I'm saying. Yeah. In the front of every man, you know, I've taught it before, there are arithmetic signs. Some people carry division signs. When they come into your life, they divide everything. Yeah. They have come to divide. Some people carry negative sign, minus. So they are there to take and not to give. We need the gift of discernment or discerning of spirit to see the people who carry addition sign. Those are the people who have brought something. And the people with multiplication sign, when they come into your life, they multiply your destiny or they amplify it. Yeah, what is already there will be amplified. Are you still with me tonight? Yeah. Genesis 13 from verse 14. The Bible talks about uh, the encounter of Abraham. Our coming from verse 14 of Genesis 13 uh, God will appear to Abraham after that lot was separated from him. And that's why he said, lift your eyes. Now I, I think you can see better. Yeah. Somebody that was blocking as look northward, southward, eastward. And as far as your eyes can see. That means there are people who may be around you and God in certain seasons will want to. Is somebody still with me tonight? I said, somebody still with me tonight. So as we pray tonight, I wanted to have that at the, uh, uh, as very important. See, in the realm that we live in, sometimes the effect of human beings is more than the effect of spirits. That's why spirits look for human beings to enter. <laughs> I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. That's why spirits look for human beings to enter. Because human beings are the primary custodians or primary you know, residents of this planet. So people should not just linger around you for nothing. We are all agents. Forget about all the things you watch in movies. Hey, somebody's agents of darkness, you know, whatever. Um, that one makes it look spooky. Yeah. When I talk about agent, I'm talking about agenda. Sometimes, some people don't have evil agenda. But the truth is that they are also not connected with God for God to use them. Yeah. So the devil will borrow them. They're not bad people. I'm just trying to expand shade on it so that somebody will understand what I'm saying very well. Glory be to Jesus. As we pray tonight, I want you to pray with this understanding that as we step into a new season, the right people has to be around you. At home, at work, and especially outside of your 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 family, the right people has to be around you. The right people has to be around you. Sometimes even in family, because Abraham and Lord, they were family, blood relationship. Yeah. Uncle and cousin. Yeah. I pray tonight that God will open the eyes of somebody here. In the precious name of Jesus. Lastly tonight in Jonah chapter 1, when you read from 
from verse 1 of Jonah chapter 1. You start to read about Jonah and the fact that he decided not to follow God and God's instruction. The moment somebody is not following God or God's instruction, the person is highly susceptible to the devil's antiques. You understand what I'm saying? Or intrigues. Yeah. The devil wants to use that kind of person. And the moment that person finds himself or herself in your life, everything within that vicinity has become endangered. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. Yeah. Because the Bible says, God told Jonah, this is where you should go. And immediately, Jonah, verse 3, the Bible says, but Jonah arose to flee to Tarshish. Yeah. And by verse 4, a storm arose. <laughs> yeah. But the Lord sent out a great wind on the sea, and there was a mighty tempest on the sea, so that the ship was about to, be, to, to break up. I hope you are getting what I'm saying tonight. Look at it. Just from Jonah chapter 1 verse 1, by verse 4, already there was a storm. Because somebody refused to be at the right place. Yeah. That's, that's how important life is. The moment you can't find, you find anybody that is behaving misplaced or displaced around you. You are at work. Uh, somebody's words will not always jive. You understand? The person is just looking like a free spirit, like a radical. You understand? You first of all start to ask yourself the question: <laughs> Is this? <laughs> you understand? You, you 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 need to start to think: Should I mark this person? Yeah. Because uh, scripture says we should mark them. Yeah. So you know what level of relationship should ensue. I'm serious about what I'm teaching tonight. And that's what I want, why I want us to pray. Because the reason why many people are limited in the expression of their destiny is wrong association, wrong connection. Yeah. Wrong association, wrong connection. Wrong association, wrong connection. I mean, you can just imagine, notwithstanding how good you are doing, if Jonah entered the same boat with you, it's not about you, it's about Jonah. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with you again from that point. It is completely about the Jonah that has entered the boat. Yeah. Because the wind and the storm, they were sent not because of the other people in the boat, but because Jonah entered that boat. Time will not permit it, but if you read the completely, I mean completely the book of Jonah, you will see later how <laughs> when the thing became unbearable, Jonah had to own up. And then they decided to just, yeah. There are certain people hearing me this evening with Jonah in your boat but with sentiment because Jonah is your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> you have decided that Jonah will remain. As we pray tonight, I see the mighty hand of God coming upon you. Yeah. I see the spirit of understanding coming upon you. Yeah. I see you coming to a season of release. Yeah. Is it that God will release you from that relationship or Jonah will be released from it? Anyhow... <laughs> Somebody here tonight, it may even be a romantic relationship, but the person is a Jonah. Yeah. That you have feelings for the person is not enough. That you are able to, to dimension who the person is, is the most important. And that can only come by the spirit of understanding. Are you still with me tonight? Very, very important. Very, very important. Stand up on your feet. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand. I told you I, I don't want to talk for a long time tonight. I want us to pray because we still have to partake of the communion. Please stand. 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 Tonight as we pray, the first thing I want us to pray about is to stand against any controlling power or spirit, whether that you are aware of or that you are not aware of, in any subtle way that the enemy may be wielding certain influence to control your life to go in a particular direction. Yeah. Somebody may be saying, oh, you know, nothing is controlling me. 
sometimes you are not even aware. Yeah. You are not aware. Like I said, the way the devil works out these things is not always uh, demons appearing to people. Yeah. Look at the, uh, Acts 16 that we read. Before that time, because those men were profiting from this lady's ability uh, for fortune telling, they decided to just maintain status quo around their life like that. The effect of the indwelling presence of that spirit, they don't care about it. Whether that spirit push, pushes her into depression or knocks her against the wall in the quiet moment, they are not aware. All they want is keep this spirit so we can profit. Yeah. Yeah. And when the time of deliverance of this young lady will come, it was that the apostles were visiting. Yeah. And Paul was bold enough to rebuke that spirit. And the spirit left. And the controllers or the handlers were revealed. The people profiting from the situation were revealed. Yeah. But if you ask that young lady, she will say she was just enjoying her life. And she has a special whatever situation. Yeah. I want you to lift your two hands to Jesus tonight. As we start to pray, just bless him first. Just bless him. Just thank him for his presence. Just enjoy his presence. Just thank him for his presence and enjoy the supply of his spirit in this place tonight. Firstly, acknowledge. Acknowledge his spirit and ask Holy Spirit, fill me afresh tonight. Fill me afresh tonight. We have come to fellowship and to pray. Will you just reconnect and you know just let your 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 spirit, your heart just bask in his presence and just just you know just enjoy the presence of the holy spirit in this place if you feel like singing a song sing it to him if you feel like praying in the spirit pray in the spirit just enjoy the liberty of god's presence tonight just enjoy the liberty of his presence tonight and as we do that i want you to cut off from every distraction cut off from anything that that, that may you know make you not operate at the level that God has placed you in his presence tonight. Because we want to do business with God. We want to stand in his presence and, and just, just connect with him vitally. I want you to just release yourself in his presence. Just release yourself in his presence tonight. Mere de Gebosa, Hatu so Krolobosha, Handa Lagabayaba, Rakata Tata Frahanda Legebosha, Me Pro Luto Suso Tufra Handa Legebosha. If you don't mind, just wave your hands to him. Just wave your hands to him. Just enjoy his presence. Malabosha, Hatike Lika Rede Gebosha, Mele Gebosa, Maradaga Suso Tufra Hinde Legebosha, Malagasa Takala Gabaya, La Karadaga Shatike Legebosa. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, we ask that you just fill us afresh tonight. Fill us afresh tonight. Fill us afresh with your presence tonight. Fill us afresh with your presence tonight. In your presence, that's where we belong. In your presence is peace. In your presence is joy. So we connect with your peace tonight. We connect with your joy tonight. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. Father, we thank you. As we pray tonight, I want you to lift your voice to Jesus. If you can, just pray in the spirit. And if you choose to pray in understanding, just, just talk to him about the breaking loose from any controlling influence, knowingly or unknowingly, in the name of Jesus, whether human or spirit, whether habits or patterns. I want you to just break free tonight, in the name of Jesus. I want you to start to decree, in the name of Jesus, I break myself free from every controlling influence. I break myself free from every thought and suggestion. I break myself free from every influence that is against my destiny, from every influence that is against your will and your purpose for my life. 
I decree tonight a new pattern. I decree tonight in the name of Jesus. I break myself off from patterns, from schemes. In the name of Jesus. I break myself off from suggestions. Suggestions. In the name of Jesus. Everything that is over and against the knowledge of God concerning my life. Everything that is contrary to His will and His original intention. That may be prospering in my life. That may be prospering in my thoughts right now. I break free from them. In the name of Jesus. I break free from every controlling spirit. Every controlling pattern. Every controlling habits. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says who the Son of Man has set free. Is free indeed. In the name of Jesus. We declare our liberty tonight. We proclaim our liberty. We enforce our liberty. In the realm of thoughts, we enforce our liberty. Emotionally, we enforce our liberty. In the name of Jesus. Reke toto prehinda lige bosha. E kando logo bos. Mere dege bosha takala gabaya. Raka satakala gabasha. Reke toto prehinda lige bosha. E kaloto suso tu prehinda lige bosha. Raka tatakala gabaya garada gabosha. Mere dege suso tu ke lige bosha. Raka tatakala lige bosha. Rakoto prehinda lige bosha. Mororogo bos. Aka like soso tu prehinda lige borodobos. Leke da lige site kira daga laka tuso. Mandro logobos. Reke tite prohonda logobosha. Reke tuto prahanda lige bosha. Ye ka loto toto korodogobos. Mere rege bos. Aka like rege bosha. Mere rege soso tu korodogoloko borodobos. Aralaga soso tu prehinda lige bosha. Makatata kalaga sisi tike lige bosha. Mere rege boko suso to kalaga basha. Maradaga taka lige bosha. Maradaga suso prehito kulo bosha. Mere rege boko suso to kolo bosha. Malaga suso tike lege rodo bosha. He kalite kesi tike lege bosha. Maradaga sata kile gorodo bosha. He kaluto toto prehita kalaga bosha. Maradaga sata kalige bosha. E kaloto toto me kuro robosh reka tata kala gabosha e bro luto sote kile gabosh bo bro luto toto frihinda lige gabosha somebody lift your voice to Jesus tonight don't get tired don't get tired proclaim your liberty in the spirit in the name of Jesus sound the alarm let everyone hear it let every spirit hear it baka like ride gabosha. Maradaga sita kile gebosh, ekondo lupro hote tike lige ride gebosha. Break every controlling influence over your marriage, over your relationship, over your business. In the name of Jesus, makalite kire lige gebosha. Over your children, in the name of Jesus, makalaga radaga sata kalaga basha. Baride geboso. Every authority, every influence that is not of God. That is standing over your family, over your children, over your business life, over your career. Malaga Bosha. I want you to stand against them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Cut off on godly influences. In the name of Jesus. Maradaga Bosha. Reketo to prehinda lige Bosha. Cut off controlling spirits. In the name of Jesus. Malebo Rodobosh. Akatata Kalaga Bosha. Reke tuto prehinde lige bosha. Marada gasuso tuko lo bosha. Marada gasuso tike li prohonda lige bosha. Ako tuto prahanda liga bala. Ako lo brodo shite kire lige bosha. Nebro luto korodo go bosha. E katata kalaga bosha. Roko tuto prehinde lige bosha. Mebro luto suso toko lo go bosha. Rakataka lige bosha. E kondo lugo borodo bosha. Yeah, can't
In the precious name of the Lord Jesus. I said in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 10. When you read from verse 3, it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk according to the flesh. Verse 4 says, For the weapon of our warfare are not kind of, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments. Arguments. One translation says, imaginations. It said, And every I thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought, somebody say thought, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, and being in readiness to avenge every disobedience when your obedience is complete. So what we're praying about tonight, sometimes we are the ones that permit some other times we don't have control over them. For instance, if somebody suggests something to you, it's not a very good thought, but you keep it, it starts to develop with you. There are great things that have happened in my life and it has come as a way of suggestion from somebody. Sometimes it may be my wife, it may be any of my associates, it may be some of my friends, it may be my mentor. Why don't you look at this this way? And they bring great results into my life. There are things that people tell me. They have not finished speaking. And the Holy Spirit is telling me, delete, delete. It must not stay. Yeah. Yeah, it must not stay. When I'm trying to re re resolve critical issues in my life, my antenna is up. When people speak, sometimes before they finish speaking, like I said, the Holy Spirit is saying, delete, delete. That must not stay. So when the Bible says, casting down every high thing, Arresting thoughts. Yeah. Both the thought that has been introduced to you and the one that may even be lingering in the mind of the closest people around you. When the devil decides to borrow a spouse, someone's spouse, it can bring a whole business down. Because one wrong suggestion from even a spouse. Yeah. I mean, it's not new to us. That was what the devil did to Adam. And it's still happening till tomorrow. Yeah. Just the devil suggesting a thought. And Adam not being able to say, uh -uh. delete, delete, delete. No, this is, not, this is not coming from the right place. I have to say, uh uh, sister, where do you hear that one from? Eh, no, no. Let's talk after dinner. And between then and dinner, I bind you, I break that thought. <laughs> By the time we see after dinner, the person too will say, hey, don't worry about it. It's just one random thought. And then we'll move on. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. Glory be to Jesus. So the Bible says we have the power. We, the weapon of our warfare is mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, imaginations. Yeah. The things, sometimes thoughts that we're wrestling with, arguments imaginations thoughts i want you to lift your two hands to jesus tonight and begin to speak in the spirit every thought that may be pervasive in my mind right now but contrary to god's perfect will for my life i step them down in the name of jesus i break their hold over my mind in the name of jesus i'm not a failure i'm not a weakling in the name of jesus My marriage is not going to fail. My business is not going to fail. I reject the thought. Not going to drop out of school. I reject the thought. In the name of Jesus. I reject thoughts of poverty. I am not a sinner. Jesus died for my sins. So I reject the thought of weakness. That thought that I say I'm a weak person. I will always fall for this iniquity or for this sin. That's not who I am. Who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. I reject thoughts of failure. Moral failure. Emotional failure. Thoughts of physical weakness. I stand against them in the name of Jesus. 
Mekolo bosha hande redege bosha. Mekendo lupro hute kisa tipra handa laga bosha. Somebody open your mouth and speak to Jesus tonight. The Bible says we have power over thoughts, over intangible things, over imaginations. We can cast them down over arguments. We break the hold of arguments. Every tongue that is rising in judgment over my destiny, I cast them down. In the name of Jesus, I destroy arguments. In the name of Jesus, whether on my mind or on people's mind, anything lingering around me that is contrary to the will of God, that is yet unformed, in thought form, tonight I break them down. In the name of Jesus, I sanctify the atmosphere around my life. Makalebosha, handelegebosha. I take authority over the atmosphere around me. Thoughts in my mind, in the mind of people around me that would derail my destiny. I cast them down tonight. I take my authority over them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Makalekeregebosha. Ikondorologobosha. Membro luta kalegebosha. E koro lo bo su so prihinde lige bosh ma katata kala davasha merege bosh I choose to win in the spirit tonight parara gabosh he te kile gabosh ma kalike tu to prihinde somebody engage the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and make battle in the spirit. The word of God says I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed from the snare of the fowler. From noisome pestilence, I've been redeemed. In the name of Jesus. So I stand in my authority tonight. And I, I, I pull down, I cast down. Whatever I bind or not is bound in heaven. I bind every contrary imagination, every thought. I bring them to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Make lotu so prehinda lege bosha marada gasata. I decree that project shall be completed. I stand against every thought of failure. That pregnancy is going to be carried to full time and delivered well. Every thought of uh, premature birth, every thought of abortion, we cast it down in the name of Jesus. Marada gabosha. Every thought of steel birth, we cast it down in the name of Jesus. Malege bosha, rakata kala gata ta kororo bosh, nerege bosi, ye kanda lige bosha, ye koloto topra handa lige bosh. Every thought of career failure, we cast it down in the name of Jesus. Malaga ta kala garada gabosha, affliction will not arise a second time in the name of Jesus. Makati te kile gebosha, man kororo bosha. Ike toto kologo bosh, maradaga sise tu kologo bosha, marorogo suso tu prehinde lige bosh, ma kolobororogo bosha, malaka sise kelege bosha, maradaga suso tu kologo bosha. That plan is going to work out. We stand against every thought of failure in the name of Jesus. Eka toto prehinde lige bosha. My God has gone ahead of you to make every crooked path straight. Hey, Kolobosha, Makati tekile gebosha, Rakata taka ligebosha, Merede gebosha, Makolobosha. We break the hold of lack. We break the hold of lack of resources. Thoughts, thoughts that says there shall not be enough resources. We stand against it in the name of Jesus. We decree a divine release on our behalf. In the name of Jesus. Every thought that says you will not have enough to finish that project. To finish that thing that you are starting. In the name of Jesus. Every thought of, of, of rejection. That nobody will extend the facility to you. We cast down that thought today. In the name of Jesus. Maradagabosha. Ekedonoboshetikaligeboshi. Marara gasuso tu prehinde lige bosh. Nanka tata kala gabaya. Roko toto prehinde lige bosha.
in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Just two more prayer points. I want us to pray for the Elevation Church tonight. I know that's not the center of our prayer, but I, I, it just, you know, that's just coming to my mind right now. And I want us to stand against every thought, every tongue that may be rising against the work of God here. I want us to arrest them tonight. Yeah, yeah. I want us to arrest them tonight. Not everyone that comes around here come with good intention yeah we've seen people who come around here and they, they just came to steal yeah somebody's bag disappear somebody's this uh, sometimes government people will come and they're just amazed about what is here and then they start to harass us yeah sometimes it's just a product of devil sponsorship sometimes it's just sheer envy <laughs> yeah i'm just being open with you yeah I want us to lift up our voice to Jesus tonight and cancel every handwriting of ordinance that may be written against this church. Every tongue that is rising against this church in judgment. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I want us to break every imagination, everything contrary to the fulfillment of God's will for this church. This church is not about the pastor or the pastors. It's about the mandate of Jesus. And Jesus said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. I want to tell him tonight, Lord, build your church. Let the gate of hell not prevail against it. And I want you to cast down every imagination, every thought that is contrary to the will of God. In the name of Jesus. We decree Elevation Church you fulfill your destiny. You fulfill the mandate of God upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Marada Gabosha. Jesus shall be glorified in all your affairs. Marudo Bosha. The flesh will not prevail against you. Human mind will not prevail against you. Human imagination will not prevail against you. Every thought that may be rising against you in judgment will condemn to none. We decree as the church of the living God, you march forward. We decree as the church of Jesus, you are unlimited. In the name of Jesus. That out of you shall rise kings, princes, and princesses. In the name of Jesus, ambassadors of God's kingdom. Men and women who will confound the adversary. In the name of Jesus. Men and women who will turn the fortune of Nigeria around. Men and women who will turn Africa around. In the name of Jesus. Malike Bosha. Nakoro no bo suto prihinde lige bosh. E kaloto to prihinde liga bosha taya. Marada gasi se tu kolo bosh. E koloto so tu prahanda lige bosha. Rokototo prehin de lege bosha. Eko mborudo bosha. Mekuro do gobos. Akala tise tike lege bosha. Emba luko soso tu prahan de lege bosha. Mekototo prehin de lege bosha. Rakata taki lege bosha. Eko rodo gobosa. Membro luto soso tuke lege bosha taya. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus. I said in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Last day tonight, I want us to pray. That the Lord will give us a spirit of understanding and discerning of the spirit. That if there's any Jonah that will be hanging around your business, around your home, around your marriage, anyone that has affinity for storm for wind you know because there's nothing you can do about it wherever you do not land the human storm must hit that place yeah that some people if they come into a marriage it's just count down like verse one to four like we saw in the book of jonah by verse four of that marriage there will be storm uncontrollable storm 
And like I said, sometimes they may be friends, they may be family with blood relationship. It doesn't matter. Anyone that can organize himself or herself for the devil not to borrow can be a donor. Yeah. I wanted to pray tonight. Lord, give me the capacity for discernment to organize my relational life well. That as we step into a new season, in 2018, there shall be no Jonah around me. No Jonah in my business, no Jonah in my boat, no Jonah in, in my marital destiny, no, you know, no Jonah in my career. If you are changing job, I want you to trust God that if there's anyone that you need to be aware of or that you need to you know, mind yourself, God will open your eyes to them. If there are people who have been posted to your station, posted to your unit, that God will open your eyes. It shall not be by suspicion. It shall be by discernment. That you will know who to go with and who not to go with. Who to be vulnerable with, who not to be vulnerable with. In the name of Jesus. Who to connect with emotionally and who to refrain from emotionally. Lift your voice to Jesus tonight. It's the last prayer. I want you to pray from your heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We stand against every Jonah. Everyone that the enemy may be positioning. Every carrier of storm. Every carrier of bad wind. In the name of Jesus. Every carrier of battle. In the name of Jesus. Every carrier of confusion. We speak against them. In the name of Jesus. We receive divine capacity. Divine capacity. Divine capacity. To be able to know them. Divine capacity to discern them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We disallow the devil from planting anyone around us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Rakatuso suprehim de lige bosh. Eko lo prohoshe dike lige bosh. Open your mouth, raise your voice, and talk to God tonight. It's a new season ahead of you. The last thing you want is a Jonah. The last thing you want is a carrier of wind and storm. The last thing you want is, is a divisive person around you. The last thing you want is somebody that will cut down your speed. The last thing you want is somebody that will destroy your, the trajectory of your career. The last thing you want is a person that will be breaking every relationship around you. Somebody speak to God tonight. Speak to God tonight. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Wave your hands to him all over this place and let's just bless him. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We thank you and we bless you. As you partake of the table tonight, your blood is the blood of reconciliation. It's the propitiation for our sins. Through your blood, the wall of perdition that separated us from God was destroyed. Tonight, as we partake of this communion table, we decree that walls are coming down. Whatever has limited the prosperity of certain God-ordained relationships, as we partake of this table tonight, the same way the blood of Jesus reconciled us back to God, we decree tonight that every God-ordained relationship starts to prosper. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that this blood brings reconciliation. This blood brings restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Everyone that is supposed to come into our lives. We start to walk in. By divine ordination. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
whatever the enemy may be doing to stop them as we partake of the blood tonight we declare that that is destroyed in the precious name of Jesus I said in the precious name of the Lord Jesus and as we partake of this blood tonight also father we trust you that your healing grace will flow over this place let growths disappear let blood diseases be healed by the reason of the covenant let someone's blood tonight be healed let someone's bone be healed let viruses be destroyed let diseases that have been called incurable be cured in your presence We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. So, Lord, we declare that this is your body that was broken for us and your blood that was shed for us. We we'll do this in remembrance of you tonight according to your injunction. We we'll celebrate the victory of the cross and the power of the covenant. And we decree tonight that your covenant speaks in every life. As we have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. For everyone partaking of this table tonight, we break the hold of condemnation and guilt. We decree tonight that the blood of Jesus speaks forgiveness. It speaks healing. It speaks restoration. And it speaks new beginnings. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you take all the glory in Jesus precious name amen all right Milan church uh, I think I can dismiss you at this point let's administer the communion for everyone right here in the auditorium I wanted to stay in the attitude of worship as the ministers will start